morning and getting ready right now. Today, I'm going to finally go watch Minari with Joan and Subin. It's been so long since I went to the movie theater for Minari. We uh, decided to book the premium ticket, so the seats are super comfortable. Uh, of course, it's a bit more pricey. It's like 25,000 won, uh, which is still considered kind of cheap because I think like in America, if you were to book like a VIP movie ticket, it would be way more than that. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to watch comfortably. I'm sure Minari doesn't make any more money from us just because we watch it at the VIP theater. It's just a movie theater that probably makes more money, but I'm just gonna do very simple makeup, nothing to really see. I really wanted to watch Minari with Joan and Subins because we all have immigrant parents and I thought we could relate to it. Have you guys all seen Minari? I've just been watching all of their interview videos even before watching the movie itself. So this is my makeup look. I just did a simple eyeshadow and eyeliner look. I have to put on lips. I'm using Sizzly's number 12. Alright, now time to get dressed and head out. I'm here a little early, so I'm just getting some sun. I got the weather is so nice today, but the dust levels are still really high. Can't enjoy the weather freely. Hi! <laughs> it's been so long. Ashley didn't get the sneaker memo. She's sitting apart. Ashley, the whole time, like all I hear is. Yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, I hear her like. I did you know I brought in tissues with me? Oh, I did. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I'm at the new Hyundai Mall in Yeido today. My cousin actually works here, so I'm gonna go visit him and also do some shopping. It's been like a month since this place opened up. Dude, this mall is so nice and clean because it's new, obviously. you guys have been asking me how I edit my Instagram pictures and videos so I thought I would just show you guys today there's not much to it really so for my Instagram photos I use Visco and once you make your preset you can always just copy the edits and paste it so it's very very easy and for the videos I just edit it in my iPhone photos so let's take this as an example I choose M5 so I actually bought this preset M5 but I don't think you really need it because I only use like 2.2 anyways just makes it a little warmer but I'm sure you can do that with the temperature so I will choose the M5 and set it to plus 2.2 and then I'll go into the editing section and I will mess around with the exposure first it is set to 
and then contrast like minus 0.8 and then I sharpen it a bit 1.9 and then for the tone like 5.1 ish and then shadow too shadow I do about 1.3 and then I add a little bit of grain 0.7 that's it and then you can see the before after before after with this picture there's not much of a difference let's pick something else okay for this one I did the same sometimes if the picture is too bright I like to lower the exposure even more to like negative 3.6 I've been going with this like more uh, dim muted aesthetic on my Instagram feed so for this one I made it a lot darker I think like a couple of years ago I always liked upping the contrast but then now it's all about downing the contrast for me so once you have that you click more copy edits and then you go to your camera roll whatever you have and you can choose and press paste edits and then voila Visco itself is a free app but they have limited presets so if you feel like downloading other ones then you can pay for it I think I bought a few presets but kind of regret it because I don't really use it I only use the same thing all the time I bought the A series this is like 2018 Ashley Instagram feed I think I bought this J series as well and I have no idea why because I really don't like it at all the only one I like is like this one, J5. Let me show you how I do it in the photo album with the edit option. This video I took this morning. Press edit, um, go to exposure, turn it down, highlights, turn that down as well. I set it to negative 21. Shadows up like 16 and then contrast minus 30 brightness sometimes i like to uh, mess around with this it's not like mandatory uh for this one i'll set it to negative five i don't really touch the other ones okay so yeah it's done you press done and you wait for it to prepare Thank goodness that uh, iPhone added the editing option for videos in the photo album because there wasn't a way to do that before and also to do that with Visco you would have to pay for the yearly membership which I didn't want to pay for because it was like kind of expensive but now you can just do it in the photo album so super easy this is what it looks like now that is how I edit my Instagram pictures and that's how my feed has been looking lately I really don't like the box logo on the top right to indicate that it's a carousel I don't know I just feel like it just ruins the aesthetic a little bit I wish it was like a little smaller or something also I have an app called Unum U-N-U-M where I see what matches my feed before I upload it I know I don't know why I must go to this extent but it's just nice to make it look cohesive and matchy matchy you know so that's how I've been editing my photos for those of you guys who are curious I totally forgot to mention this there's like a trick or a tip that uh, I do when I take the picture from my iPhone itself so you open the camera up to take a picture right and when I take the picture, I like to click on it and I honestly don't know what this is called I don't know the technical names or anything, but I'm guessing it's like exposure I like to hold on to the screen and bring the exposure down So when you hold down and scroll down, it's gonna get darker and also if you go up, it's gonna get really bright Okay, that looks terrible I like to make it a little darker and I find that when I just take the picture like this, I don't even have to edit it that much. If this, for example, if I just take it regularly, it would look like this. But if I bring the exposure down, it just makes it look a little more vibey. 
and of course this isn't for everyone maybe you guys like your pictures really bright and clean but for me this is what i've been liking these days all right i'm really done with my tips now i told you guys everything so no more tips to share if i change up my aesthetic again i will let you guys know yeah I realized I didn't explain beforehand what I'm doing so I thought I would update you guys with this voiceover. I got a job as an MC slash host for a fan meeting for seven weeks with different Korean artists for Lazada which is an Asian online shopping platform. The show I'm doing is called Laz Live and it's for the Singapore branch. And the first guest I had was Haha. -ha. Hey that's me MC Ashley. This is my outfit for today cropped brown jacket and this silky wide leg trousers I'm your MC for today I'm Ashley This is Ha! Yeah, I'm gonna be interviewing different guests every week so if you guys can tune in I think you can download the Lazada app but apparently it's only available for Android I filmed some TikTok videos for fun while I had my hair and makeup done and yeah I'm just gonna get ready to sleep now oh I also have to do squats before I sleep I'm doing this 30 day squat challenge where I do 100 squats for 30 days to see what difference it'll make. So stay tuned for that. So I have a very exciting package that I want to unbox today. Since I've been doing a lot more cooking and uh, filming a lot more what I eat in the week videos, I decided that it was time for me to upgrade my kitchenware. So I wanted to get kitchenware that was more like aesthetically pleasing as well as uh, more high quality so I can cook even more. I got my kitchenware from a Korean brand called Bodori. We have a frying pan. Ooh, look at this beautiful cream colored frying pan. We also have a bigger pot for stews. And you might be wondering where is the handle? Well, the handle is detachable and it's right here. This is so cool. Clasp it on. Oh, so cool. Whoa, it's so sturdy. Whoa, look at this. This one does come with a lid. Ooh, so pretty. Yes, I'm excited. This is peak adulting, guys. Being so satisfied with pretty kitchenware stuff. Watch out for my next what I eat in a week video, y'all. I'll be cooking it up. Who am I kidding? I'll probably just be making like kimchi stew and kimchi fried rice and all that easy stuff. But anyways, all right. I just have to show that off. having this whole feast to myself I was too lazy to film though and I don't have it on camera but next time I will try to film for you guys maybe in a what I eat in a week video oh my gosh I was really craving um, spring rolls and I actually got a meal kit for it take the rice paper I'm so hungry it's like almost 2 and it's my first meal of the day. I had radio in the morning and instead of eating at the cafeteria downstairs, I decided to take a nap. 
got some pork with onions. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Carrot. Paprika. Cabbage. I really don't like these vegetables, so this is the only way I'll actually have them. I know I'm such a picky eater. I always suck at making these. Like, some people make it so pretty. Mine is just like, bleh. Let me try it. I'm gonna try with chili sauce first. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Healthy and delicious. I used to go get spring rolls like that you make at the pho place with my mom weekly. Like it was our thing. We both love summer uh, spring rolls so much. 